and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube watching this video later on for some Grixis Reanimator. That's right, put together a new deck today that looks like it'll be a lot of fun and I really wanted to play this deck and we just had a sweet league with the um, Ayara Citadel deck. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you check out that video also. That deck was a lot of fun to play. But this one is probably going to be a lot of fun to play also. All right, so what do we got going on here? So we have um, our two mana plays. You know, obviously Thought Erasure is is our uh, best play that we can have. But besides Thought Erasure, we can, we can kind of start setting up our deck. We got Thrill of Possibility and Discovery uh, to draw extra cards and just kind of um, start looking, you know, churning through our deck. You know, their velocity for us through the deck. And then we also have Fibble Tip, get that extra draw in there. Um, and so we have a lot of things that are drawing an extra card there. Um, and then our, our turn three, we got some more things that draw an extra card. We got Tomebound Lich that can, uh, you know, whenever ETBs draw a card, discard a card. And, of course, the Royal Scions that get to draw and discard. So lots of things that can draw, and all these things can put cards into the graveyard. Thrill, discards, discovery, you can surveil over. So we have a lot of extra draw and a lot of ways to put things into the graveyard. All right, so to capitalize on that, we, we're playing three Iron Crag Pyromancers for some removal. Each time we draw a second card, then we get to do three damage to any target. And Improbable Alliance, whenever we draw a second card, we get to make a little 1-1. One, one. Okay, so we're, we're uh, getting rewarded for drawing extra cards. And now for putting stuff into the graveyard, we can get rewarded. Um, we have uh, our reanimation spells. I got just one Blood for Bones. We don't have a lot of creatures to sacrifice. Um, ideally, we're sacrificing a, a fairy token, but we also have the Fibble Thip. Like, those are some things, or these three drops. We'll see how much we use Blood for Bones. Um, Blood for Bones, notably, though, whenever we have Agent of Treachery in play, is just incredible because you get to just sack your agent and then bring it right, immediately right back. But anyway, we got those. We got Bond Revivals also. So if we're, we got the reanimation spells, we got to have our uh, top end targets. And that's what we got here with our four Agent of Treachery. That's our main card that we're going to be getting into play as early as possible. Be able to steal stuff. And then, of course, we have Dracuseth because Dracuseth Bond Revival is just incredible. And then also Ilharg. Ilharg is, um, is pretty awesome with Agent of Treachery. You know, if you get to attack with Ilharg, and you have Agent of Treachery in your hand, you put Agent of Treachery in, in for free, then at a, as long as they don't get to kill your Agent in combat, then at end step you can put your Agent of Treachery back into your hand, and you can kind of keep on doing that. And so that is just, uh, so that's like a really cool combo there. Um, so besides that, uh, other another cool combo that we have, all right, so by, oh, also by the way, Ilharg and Dracuseth don't really work. Uh, Dracuseth has to be part of like the declare attackers part. Um, if you if you attack with Ilharg and then put Dracuseth into play, you don't get this trigger. So, um, but still, Dracuseth with Bond Revival is awesome, and still just putting in uh, Dracuseth off Ilharg, you get a seven seven flyer. So that's usually pretty good anyway. Um, the new Mythic six drop Demir card. What I don't I don't even know what that card. What card are you talking about? Throne of Eldraine Mythic. I'm not. I'm not sure what card you're talking about, Matthew. Um, the other. The other uh, cool thing that we have here is Tomebound Lich and Royal Scions work really well together, because with that second plus one, um, you know, target creature gets plus two plus zero, gains first strike and trample. So if you give the Tomebound Lich first strike and trample, it has death touch so first strike and death touch uh you're not you know you're you're not going to block a first strike death touch creature and so they're probably not blocking the tone bound lich which means it gets to hit the opponent and gets to trigger again so you get to get more draw and discard in that way as well oh the the lockmare serpent i don't no i don't this thing no i don't i don't want this thing no that's no, not a card that I want. All right, but anyway, that's our that's our deck. Uh, so yeah, let's let's give this a try. This looks like this could be a lot of fun to play. I'm gonna go ahead and just you know we got this new deck here. I'm gonna go ahead and just play a league. So I kind of feel like doing here with our deck. Let's play a league with Grixis Reanimator. 
Should we change these? Let's change these sleeves up. I want these purple sleeves with our purple looking deck. Our our mana isn't the best, but uh, we have so much of the two, you know, with playing Grixis colors, our mana is not the best, but so much of our two drops are like <clears throat> churning through the, the deck. They can kind of help us out with our mana and everything. Um, yeah, I, I do have a, yep, I have a blue Yeti mic. It's the blue Yeti pro mic. We played against Simple Simon earlier. Ugh. I guess we don't have a blue mana. I mean, this this could... Like, if we draw the blue source, this would be really good. To, you know, start off with these things, looting away Agent of Treacheries. Like, that's, that's awesome, but we just need a blue mana. All right, so I have... I mean, I just have one of these Bloodfell Caves, but I have one, two, three, four, five, nine... Uh, plus eight. I have 17. So we have 17 blue sources, and we're on the draw. Let's just give it a try. There's a blue source. Uh, I guess I play the Bloodfell Caves first. No. No, we play this first. Because if we draw Thought Erasure, we can go Swamp Thought Erasure. Yeah, Royal Scions... Tonebound Lich. This is going to be a sweet combo. Um, I don't know. This is, this is the first time playing the deck here, Jake. We just put it together. Uh, yeah, I just built this earlier today. So, yeah, I don't know exactly what the best matchups are or anything like that. I think we start with the Lich first. And then go Royal Scions afterwards on the Lich. Right on schedule. Hmm. No, I am not making. I think I still do that. I don't know. Maybe I'm supposed to just play Scions. That's more like it. So I'm getting Ilharg into the, the graveyard because if we if we draw like a reanimate haste thing with Ilharg, you know, we can or like you know we can go grab Ilharg, put an agent of treachery kind of thing also. Well their hand was awesome. Good hand.
So I, I don't know if I'm supposed to go all out with like nine sweepers or I guess seven, seven sweepers. It's probably too many sweepers. I think I want, I think we go Legion's End and Cry, but not set here. And then uh, Improbable Alliance. But I'm playing Ashiok and Ego. Hmm. We'll cut a Pyromancer, cut a Fibblethip, cut. Sixty-six cards. Guess one lich. I'll take out the alliance, the one scions. Kind of trimming on a bunch of stuff. No, never cut Thought Erasure. Ever. <laughs> In any matchup. I know there's not enough room to fit everything. Ugh. So I guess I'm going turn three Pyromancer. Turn four Lich. Hoping by that time... I have something good to discard, so then I get to go turn five revival. Why would we get the trigger on... I mean, going Pyromancer, then Lich, we get the trigger. If I go... If I go Lich first, they can block. I'm just, just drawing lands over here. It's a... Yeah. So this is the way to make sure we get the trigger on for... Unbelievable. So we had four draw steps and they were all lands. Stand by and watch. Four for four drawing lands. Um, I'm playing the full four scry lands. Here we go. The blue red ones is the ones that are in our colors here.
I don't I don't think I let them like circuitous route and that kind of stuff on my turn. Yeah, that's that's the plan is to agent get back or get the uh, field of the dead. That's definitely the plan. Dang. On where do you go for Field of the Dead? Wish I would have named Field of the Dead last turn instead of Agent, instead of playing Agent. Yep, we're dead. Opponent's deck's pretty good. Do you think the Black Citadel deck you just played could be good for a best of one event? I could see that. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, I could definitely see that. Need a top tech Legion's End or Cry the Carnarium. So all we need is Legion's End or Cry the Carnarium. That was a really unnecessary. There we go. Alright, we're still in this. We're still in it. That was a pretty unnecessary other circuitous route to get more zombies there. I think they could have waited a turn. Oh, that was a good top deck. Yeah, that was a pretty good top deck there.
Okay. Alright, so basically, I need to mulligan my hand. My hand... I didn't have... I just didn't have my cyborg cards at all. You know, like, we just had a... Like, that was not a good hand for that matchup. That game, too. Um, you know, I need to keep a hand that had Ashiok or Unmordigo or something like that. That was just a, a bad keep. And then, you know, it didn't... It didn't help how we our first four draws were all lands, of course. Um, but yeah, I I really need to mulligan that hand. So learned that next time. Be be more stingy on the mulligan. But if I if I did not get Agent of Treachery first, if I would have cast the other way, maybe I would have won that. Is if I would have instead of casting the Bond Revival for Agent, if I would have just cast on Mordigo, named Field of the Dead, take the other three Field of the Deads out of their deck, they still have the one, and then the next turn have Agent grab that one, and then they don't have any anymore. So that was the other decision I could have besides the Mulligan. Um, I don't know if if we if we still lose there. Like, there's this one gnat that's kind of flying around. That's annoying me. I can't get it. Um, I don't know if like with them having that extra one field of the dead that turn, if they get enough zombies to kill us. I'm not sure. All right, well, good hand for them. Turn one goose, turn two paradise druid. They could have turn three Nissa. Wish I would have cast the played the temple first, with that being another land there. But oh well. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm working hard over here just to get a little bit extra value. Alliance Bibletip. <laughs> I think Gilded Goose is probably better than Land War Elf overall. Seeing like getting those extra food tokens being really valuable. They only have five mana right now. They need to draw another land for the Troll King. This Goose is just a 3-3. Three, three. So even if, you know, they, they couldn't just tick up and make another food. Cost six mana to draw, then discard. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. need to steal this Oko. We're not doing a very good job of getting this Agent of Treachery out of my hand, though. I 
will protect the virtue of this world. Harness the elements. Let's broaden your existence. Hey, witch. Thank you so much for that donation. I appreciate that, witch. Do you have a, a donation deck you'd like me to play? We're gonna lose this. I don't need to show them that. I mean, I can I can get back Fib Fibblethip, draw another card. All right, so we need Soot and Grasp. Those are the two cards I want. Perfect. So yeah, just put it up. Um, do you use like MTG Goldfish? works quite well and then let me know what what day and what time slot you would like no but we don't need legions end for goose like we're gonna have the ritual of soot so like that, that'll be good so we'll have soot and grasp um 66 cards here though I'll just take out those things. Maybe the maybe the Pyromancer and Improbable Alliance are too cute, maybe. Okay, any day or time, we'll go watch it on YouTube. Cool. Demir Mill. Awesome. All right, I'll save it, and I'll fit you in. So, yeah, thank you so much there, witch. I appreciate that. Why Wrinkle isn't in the deck. Um, I don't know if Wrinkle really does. Gosh, I really want Royal Scions. I guess I'm, I'm going to keep Royal Scions. I really want that card. I don't think Wrinkle does enough for the deck, honestly. So I, I, I mean, the last few games we've been just drawing a lot of lands. We need a land here out of these two. Oh, come on. Mana troubles. There's 25 lands in the deck. So only finding two with scrying one to the bottom, drawing an extra two. Pretty unlucky. I don't have a I don't have a low number of lands. There's twenty five in here. And so we saw after keeping the two lands, we saw five cards and zero lands. Unbelievable. Nine. We saw nine cards. Kept a two lander, nine cards. Still no lands. It's 
25 in here. What is this? I'm just 0 for 9? Hey, the 10th card, finally a land. Guess what? That's a terrible land. Does It's not black mana. Um... I'm guessing they have Veil of Summer for sure. Like, that's... That's gotta be one and or more of their cards in hand are Veil of Summer. As they're just sitting around doing nothing. Could have, like, the Feasting Troll King that we saw last game. Kind of hope not on the Troll Kings. I don't have the... Mana to stop that thing right now. Or, or like, I... Yeah, I don't have, like, the Ritual of Soot. And Noxious Grass available because I don't have that, that much mana. So reset, they still have seven cards and millions of mana. Yeah, these these sleeves were from TwitchCon. They were given out at TwitchCon. My strength fades. Um just uh, QQ, one of one of my moderators here, was at TwitchCon and and got the code for me. Well, we've kind of stabilized. Until they draw something crazy. That's fine. They did not block the Agent of Treachery. Oh, I'm so glad they didn't block the Agent of Treachery. It goes back to my hand. Okay, we got game number two. Our deck did its thing. Ritual of Set was clutch. Our deck did its thing. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we don't need mana until about turn seven or so. 
You don't need mana the first first time. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, but the king is on our side now. Ugh, tap lands. Hopefully we find an untapped land. So I can have erasure on two. I think it's better to start with this. We get extra looks at it. Untapped land. There we go. Well, that's unfortunate. They don't have anything in their hand. <laughs> My second thought erasure isn't going to do anything here. It's either thought erasure again, discard the thought erasure to thrill a possibility. This is a two. Two possibilities. We don't know what this card was. Could be Nissa, Crisis, Land. All right. Well, I guess we'll put that Draki Seth in the graveyard. At least it wasn't Nissa. Does Royal Silent give Trample? Wow, it does. Alright, now I have a land down at the bottom that I would kind of like to draw here. So I'm just going to go ahead and shuffle. Come on, go ahead. Oh no, why, why aren't you blocking? Why didn't they block? Yeah, still early. Our deck hasn't worked out too well yet, but still real early. Thoughts were too frozen to win. Hope they don't have negate. Yeah. You just attack Nessa. Four, three, three. Drack you, Seth. I am in need of rest. The Maw Flames. Okay. That worked out. It was looking really bad for us. You know, like, we were down a game. And, you know, we couldn't hit land drops. It looked like we were going to be losing that. But my opponent kind of just flooded out those games two and three and we came back and took it 
<laughs> yep, that's that's how it goes once you drop a dragon of that caliber. <laughs> Mob win games. Yeah, not Mob Flames, Mob win games. Let's see. Keep this, this could be bad. And by bad, I mean I don't really have a way to draw a second card each turn. O4s can block, though. O4s can block. Hmm. Looks like my opponent doesn't really care about my blocking schemes over here. So I was thinking, like, so, like, these can block, but then once we draw any, like, card draw thing... Triggering both of these, doing three damage to everything could be awesome. Oh, no. Well, that's just game. Yeah, I mean, that's just game. That's just actual game. I mean, might as well play my card, I suppose. So Spitfire can do 7, then 8, 9, 10. So I'm looking at, at the very, at the very best, I'm untapping and I'm at 4. What? They did, just didn't use the Spear Spewer? All right, never mind. Make it 5. So at the very best, I'm untapping and I'm going to be at 5. Okay. Well. Hmm. I don't have anything that costs one mana that draws a card. No. I can't just play like this other Pyromancer, then draw another card and kill both Spitfires. Alright, Spitfire is good. So 61. I don't know, I like all 61 of these. Like the the lifelink on Tonebound Lich is why I really want to keep that card. Scorching Dragon Fires. Of Scorching Fires? We could. I would probably rather have Lava Coil in a deck like this because I want to just be. I think that that's a better defensive card. All right, so turn four, Ritual of Soot. Anybody? Does gain a life? Um. Yeah. I guess there's. I don't. I don't know. That somebody else came in here saying that too. That there's a My Little Pony set with magic as well. Like they're teaming up for something. I don't know. I don't know any details about that at all. Besides what I just said, <laughs> basically. All right. So Spitfire, Outrage, Weird, Spitfire, 
flame wave. Deal two damage to target player, then each and each creature that player controls. Search your library and graveyard for a card named that. I don't know, I guess I'll take that thing. The Outrage <coughs> can only deal damage to me if I have a creature. I don't have a... I don't have a creature. Yet. I'm gonna give them some more time to play some of these three drops before our ritual. Okay, I guess I need a ritual now. I'll just steal this Bell Gorger weird. damage in. Okay, yeah, there's sil silver border cards. It's a for charity thing. Okay. Kind of like the, yeah, how they had the, the transformer cards and stuff like that. Makes sense. Sister by my side, I do not fear the unknown. I enjoy the proper application of knowledge. It's kind of just looking for a, another land for Drackey Seth. Yep, going for the hard, the hard cast. Yeah, this card's underrated. I will learn what nobody yet knows. Drag you, sis. But obviously the, the ritual of Soot won us this game. Synthesize the facts. <laughs> Seeing if we drew another reanimate spell to be able to get back Ilharg as well. If you took the Royal Scions and Oko and you just reduced the the loyalty by three, I think they'd still be playable. I think Royal Scions would... I think if it started at two and just ticked up to three, then four, then five, and everything, I think that's still certainly playable. And Oko absolutely would be playable. All right, game three. Can we get there on the draw again? <laughs> Real Scions should have 12 loyalty because it's two people. I'm not talking about QR. I was talking about specifically the ones from Throne of Eldraine. Uh, yeah, specifically talking about those. Oh, this could lose. I mean, I love having Thought Erasure on turn two. I love that. 
I don't like how I don't have two black or a ritual of sets. Or basically a four card hand here. But Thought Erasure could also. I was like, I, I could just go to discard and just discard the Agent of Treachery and pass. But no, that's probably not the right play. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe the audio is a little off sync. I don't know. It, it gets a little off sync all the time. Hey, Skippy. So our, our second thought erasure may not actually do anything. Games are going good. The Citadel deck we just got done playing last league was so, so much fun to play. And I think our the deck that I'm playing here is a little off, but it's still pretty fun to play as well. All right, so then. I know, right? You can't I can't thought erasure myself. It's not like thought seize. No. Oh, that's so bad. Alright, top deck set. No set. I tried, I dig digged pretty good there. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ugh. All right, nine of our lands are gone. They should sack Ember Hauler, it's lethal. Sack Ember Holler. No. Sack Ember Holler, you, you had me. You had me, opponent. You could have sacked Ember Holler. Good game. Some pretty, yeah, pretty bad draws for us there, that last game. I, I think I maybe just didn't sideboard very well. I don't know, like, throughout all those cards, including, like, with the hand that we kept, all the draws plus all, plus the scries and surveils and everything, we saw one spell, just one thought erasure. Um, I kind of think Rams tonight... I think they're gonna make up for like that that other game they lost. Yeah, it seemed like a fifty-five land deck. Ugh. All right, so I think the deck's pretty close. You know, sure we went one and two, but you know it was the first try at the deck. Um, I liked Lich, liked Royal Scions. I I think we could use. Like, I was kind of too worried about having, like, too much just spin the wheel type stuff early. But I think maybe we could use more of that. Um, I'm not sure about Pyromancer and Improbable Alliance and, and stuff. Maybe just playing, like, regular removal spells is better than Pyromancer. I wanted to try to try something, you know, try that, that stuff out. But I, I kind of feel like... Those cards aren't really worth it. 
I think that um maybe like just playing a couple main deck ritual of sets and opt is a card Maybe a couple main deck ritual sets, a couple main deck lava coils. And then, yeah, another Legion's End and another Ashiok over here. I don't really like the Cryodecranariums too much. So what about this? No, that adventure creature is not very good, no. Um, so like looting is, is fine for their deck, but we can also just kind of play a, a control route and just hard cast our, our stuff also. So we don't, we don't always have to reanimate with this. Um, yeah, exactly. And this, in this metagame soot does everything that, that we want cry to do. Yeah. So I want, I want two sets in the main, two more sets in the board and, um, you maybe have an extra negate, extra Ashiok. Ashiok is just kind of the card that you need against the Field of the Dead decks over there. And then maybe a couple coils in the main. Yeah, I think I want coil instead of um, instead of Legion's End because coil can just hit more things. I think that's the removal spell I want. It could be it could be Tyrant Scorn. Yeah, actually, it's probably Tyrant Scorn. Because we could also Scorn and put, like, Agent of Treachery back into our hand. Like, in a really late-game scenario, if we're playing against, a, if we're playing against like, a control deck that's not really playing creatures. But then I don't, I don't have really anything to kill. I don't have anything that kills Golos. Maybe that's a problem. I don't have anything that kills Golos. I mean, I have Agent of Treachery, so like that's maybe it's not a problem because we have Agent of Treacheries. The Citadel deck was good. Yeah, no, the Citadel deck ran ran really well. We played against like Field of the Dead and Flash and um, you know a bunch of different decks. Yeah, I don't like I don't like the thrill of possibilities too much maybe take out blood for bones i could i could see taking out blood for bones for sure could play remodi revelers instead of thrill of possibilities i could see that with reveler just trading with stuff so basically instead of drawing a second card we have we get a 2-2 in play So you either draw two cards or you get a 2-2 two -two in play. I guess we could do that and then that makes Blood for Bones even better. I like that. I like that. I, yeah, I don't think Lazav's good enough. I kind of like that. Blood for Bones is just so good after you have Agent of Treachery in play of like sacking Agent of Treachery and bringing it back kind of thing also. Uh, 
Um, yeah, there's other things we could use to put stuff in our graveyard, but I don't think we have to necessarily be all in on putting stuff into our graveyard. We're kind of like a Grixis control -y type deck, but we have a lot of things now. You know, we have Reveler, Discovery, Thought Erasure, Tonebound Lynch, Royal Scions. Like, all this stuff puts things in our graveyard. Yeah, this looks pretty good. All right, this looks this looks better. I like this. Gives us better better against, you know, like all the the millions of creature decks running around. You know, got two set in the main. Got this thing to block, got a little bit more removal. I think I think this works out better. You know, we just kind of want to stay alive and uh agent of treachery some people. This looks good. This looks good. Okay. So, um yeah, even though we want one two uh, I'll play this deck again here, uh, you know, in in the next week or so, um, you know, with these changes and and try try this out because yeah, it was the first, you know, that was the first uh, a first test, and um, I like the changes that we got here. All right, so if you're watching the video later on YouTube, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there, and also let me know what you think of this updated list here. Um, if if you think. Uh, there's something better than like Remodi Reveler, or if there's anything here that I'm missing, um, let me know there. And if you try out the deck yourself, let me know how it goes. Um, also, you know what you're struggling with, or what looks really good, and everything else like that. But that's it here for Grixis Reanimator. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.